Put out the electric guitar bit. So, welcome to our YouTube channel where we're going to be playing a few games of Hero Kids. <laughs> That's Swifty. Uh, so, Blaze. Sorry, Venom and Blaze. Venom oh, right, right. and Blaze. So, Hero Kids. Right, leave I mean, we called Blaze. Blaze. You're gonna get forward to the camera, you <laughs> do for Zed. You can look at the camera as well. You're, no, you don't have to look at the camera, we can all just talk normal. Like normal pirates. Look. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> we've got a bit distracted already. Sorry, YouTubers, I know you're expecting a professional YouTube, but this is our first go. Yeah. I've got my pirate out on, I've got my surfy top on. You boys are looking smart. So, sorry, hero kids. Uh, role play game where you sort of make up the story as you go along a little bit. We've got some dice that we throw. Let's catch him up. Where were we last time? I got dragon before as well, Wolf. Okay, let's go back before that. So we started off, can you remember, right at the start? But can I keep oh, playing him? Yeah. Yes. You've got to get forward a little bit, Lee. You're doing nothing again when you're disappearing off the camera. Right, um, my legs are hurting from you down. Stop moaning. <laughs> so, can you remember how the how did it start? Can you think all the way back all those months ago? <laughs> so <laughs> you, Wait, we were on the boat. The Swifty boat. Swifty and Blaze were walking down the road and what happened? A girl came along on um chariot sort of thing, uh, pulled by horses. On a stagecoach, yeah. was it? And she was being pulled by horses, and they were out of control, weren't they? Yeah. And you had to jump on, so you had to run down beside the stagecoach, fast as you could, and jumped on it, didn't you? And then you managed to wrestle the horses under control. And then she took you back to the farmhouse, didn't she? Yeah. And what happened in the farmhouse? Well, well, there was like animals, and then we slept there. Then we heard a crash. What was it? And we came down. That was wolves. And then there was a load of wolves outside. Wolves who attacked. And there was this werewolf guy, um, sort of thing. Well, not. Yeah, kind of. Then the we went to, um, we went down a path in the morning. Well, we fought the thing off. We went down a path in the morning, and we found a little cottage. Um, an old lady lived her, lived there. Yeah, this is a bit I don't remember. I might have been a bit drunk in this one. But and, yeah, she um, told you about Wolfsbane. And Lewis was rude to the lady. Oh yeah, what did you say? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did she turn you into like she made she, your pants disappear? Didn't she? No, she made him wear a girl's dress. Oh, so, yeah. And then you started crying. Yeah. <laughs> But you were very rude to her. Yeah, he said, I'm going to burn your face off and your hair. So anyway, right, so. Save the girl. Save the girl. Went back to her farmhouse. Went back to the farmhouse. They had a problem with wolves. She had a problem with wolves. Wait, and they? Yeah, they were being surrounded by wolves and attacked by wolves, weren't they? And yeah. they said there was a massive wolf that we had to go and, you guys had to go and kill. Had to get wolf spain. Yeah. Which is what you use to kill wolves, apparently. Not guns. John. No, silver, silver bullets. Silver, silver bullets. bullets. But we didn't have a gun because we no. were magical. So anyway, so we had to go and get the wolf spade. So we had to go down to the grove or something, didn't you? And attack the spiders. Oh yeah, I knew it was tamed one. That was a different bit. Was it? Yeah, so we got, got spiders. And then we went and got wolf spade, didn't we? So yeah. you fat, so you've got wolf spade on you somewhere in one of your pockets. Pockets. I've got millions of those. So then we went back to the farmhouse, had a chat with the farmer again. Then we're on our way now, aren't we? With our wolf spain in our pocket. La, 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 la. Yeah. Right, you have to remember that this is a video and it's going to be yeah. long, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we've got the wolf spain. And you're on your way, you're looking for the source of the wolves. And possibly the um the werewolf. Mm -hmm. 
Really? Didn't you find him? Weren't you outside his cottage? Yeah, but then he ran away. Because he killed all his wolves. Yeah, no, he, he killed all the wolves, didn't he? So you sprung up out of the grass. Yeah. Twin daggers, two dead wolves. Yeah. That was a critical roll, by the way. Critical. Critical! And you were riding around on one and stabbed the other, and then didn't your venom kill one or something? Um, yeah, my venom. Um. My venom. Um, venom is a giant spider. That he tames while battling. That we were battling, and then Lewis tamed him. A wolf's killing his brother with And the wolf, the venom, the giant spider, who's like eight foot tall. And he's got super boots. For some reason, he's wearing a pair of super jumping boots. Yeah. He jumps like ten foot into the air. So he can jump really high. Yeah. So that's that. Good boy. Um, you're both on full health. Full health? Yeah. Uh, you've got two health. Though. You've got one potion. One potion. And, and my magic lemonade ones. Oh yeah, and he's got a magic lemonade wand, which we'll get to. So, set the scene. You have just killed a bunch of wolves. Bunch of wolves. Didn't I get dragged into the forest and then do that to come and save people? No, it was a different time. Oh. So you are outside this crusty, run-down, old, like a cottage, but it's not really a cottage. It's Is like it a, on stilts? More like a barn. Like no, it's just a normal cottage in the forest. There's in a bit of a clearing. Wolves have been going in and out. It's a bit smelly. It's not very nice. No real windows. It's more like a barn, yeah. a thatched barn, and all made out of this stuff. Right, you've also shrinking down. You've got to okay. Remember, look at that. You're just yeah. disappearing off the bottom of the screen. Oh yeah. So. You just killed the wolves, there's a massive fight outside, wolves shouting, fur flying, swifty and blaze, punching and kicking, and the the commotion has obviously brought the the main wolf out and he opens the door. Where's he to? I need one more for the um heart. Need what? Needs loads more for the when they die. You only need one. Okay, you talk about. So, out of this barn, <laughs> door gets ripped off its hinges and barely squeezing through the. the it's a normal sized door, you know, it's like a big 10 foot door that cat will go in and out of. Yeah. But out of this door, just squeezing through and pulling his way out, is this massive giant werewolf. Now he's got three attack. Three? That's more than me. And he's he's half human, half, half wolf. wolf. But so is it a werewolf focus they only come out in moonlight. Don't they? So he he is a werewolf. He is a werewolf. He's, he's got, got a type of werewolf. Four health. He's got three attack. And one shot. Four health. What? Well, I a bruise her what? We only have bruise in the heart. And the KO. Uh, Blake. Don't look. I'm spoiling you. So, he comes crashing out through the, the, the doorway of the barn and he takes one look around. He sees the carnage, dead wolves, fur, bits of limbs hanging off, blood everywhere. <laughs> and he looks at you five and he's like, what are you doing? Why are you here? Mm, What's I been know. going on? I know. You don't know why you're here? No. <laughs> We we took the wrong path into the woods, and then we just saw the, all these dead wolves. Yeah. You expect me to believe that? Yeah, we do. Never. <laughs> oh, but let's just talk about this. You're big and bulky. <laughs> we're tiny and skinny. Where, how do you think we're gonna win? <laughs> win what? Is this some sort of competition? Okay. Yeah. Put please. that picture on the floor. No, she's kicking that picture down. Oh. Let's put it somewhere. Bam. So the wolf, you haven't really impressed him. No. And he, you have to look, you're staring at the screen. Okay. 
So you have to look at the camera. All right. So he, yeah, he's extremely angry. He can see that all these wolflings have been killed. So he, he just comes right out. Now he's closest to him. I think you are, aren't you, Blaze? Yeah, Lewis was closer to the door than me. So he runs over to Blaze and tries to start attacking you. So let's all roll for initiative. All right. So, so how many? One to yeah, three. How many? One. So we've got five, two, two and one. So three. three. So it's me, Swifty, Blaze. So the werewolf, he comes in and he sees that giant spider. <laughs> yeah. And he just, just, he just leaps. He bounds through the door, crashes through the grass, and just leaps and jumps on Venom. Ha! I can jump Matt really high too. Can I attack? I think we're going to bring them all. Oh yeah! Okay, I've got four. Um, um, how much is my boots? That probably an attack. No, it's a defence, isn't it? Oh, just okay, yeah. So you, okay, let's let's. So you're doing super boots. Yeah. yeah. You're jump up right. So I got four. That's my attack. But let's before I do the attack, let's do a battle of um. What do you call it? Like your reactions. Okay. So let's see if my reactions are quicker than yours. Three and three. Oh. Oh. Six. Two. Oh. I got a two. So yeah, your reactions are far quicker than mine, and Venom leaps up into the air, and the werewolf just misses him, skids across the floor, crashes into Blaze, he was standing next to him, and you just all fall over and miss the tangle. Do you? Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. Blaze is just gonna say, no. ah ha. <laughs> well, you basically roll around on the floor. Right. Um, is it Swifty, me? you'll yes. go. I'm gonna go. No. Twin daggers at his throat. Twin daggers, what's yeah. that called? Range attack swift daggers, okay. Yeah, um, that is two. Range attack. Right, one, ah! one, two, three. Two and three. Two. I got one. Six. A oh, what? So, yeah, your daggers in the confusion. One, two, <laughs> I got five. Oh, jeez. So, uh, you've got another thing. Do you want to do something else? Yeah, um, I'm going to run up to him and stab him. You can't do that. You can run up to me. Yeah, I'm going to run up, run up to him and try okay. and help Lewis. So, um, <gasps> Blaze, you're gay. Oh, oh. Um, Blaze. Let's move the camera back. Goodbye. Yeah. Sorry. Um, look at um, run over to him and, um, yeah. play, put fire on his fire. Yeah? Why don't, why don't yeah. Blaze just go by hand? Mmm, actually, gonna do firing. What, with Blaze? Yeah, he's gonna, yeah, but isn't the werewolf on top of Blaze? Yeah, they're all like in a big tangle. Well, the then... Yeah. But you can just put your flaming hands on him. Yeah, burn yeah. Him. Yeah. So you've got ah. two, two dice. Okay. So my guy's not going to be able to dodge that, so... Mm. Six and six. Double Easy. critical roll. How? Yes. That is amazing. So, placing your hands on either side of the werewolf, you can't quite reach his head, because you're in a bit of a tangle, you do manage to clasp hold of his buttocks. <laughs> And you throw both of them to a crisp. <laughs> and the werewolf, in extreme pain, leaps off you, flies into the air, patting his bum. Everything's Wait, on fire. Wouldn't the fur be burnt off? Ooh, so it's so just a pink. It's a pink bear bottom and a pink bear tail. And he's he is now down to. So he's gone from grazed to bruised, and he's now hurt. Yes! That was Yes! Uh, you've got one more thing you can do. Um, you've got two moves. Run away. <laughs> Actually... The werewolf has leapt off you and is running around, patting his bottom out. I go to the boy, try and um, shoot a fireball on his head. Another attack? Yeah. Okay, go He's for it. He's going to kill him at this rate. Uh, Wait, don't we want to heal him? Is it two? Heal him. So that's why we've got the wolf speed. Oh, yeah, that's to kill him, isn't it? Is it? I thought it was to heal him. Back to another kingdom. 
But if you want to heal him, he needs to be baddie. I know, but if you heal him to a normal human, he'll go so baddie. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, one and two. What are you trying to do? Shoot him? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just now. Five. No, you miss him. You just leaped out of the way. Last minute, sees what you're doing. Um, so, it's Rubble Scare. He is extremely angry. Uh huh. Uh, uh, Blaze. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Are you gonna save me? Well, I'm. He I, is. Wait, I'm besides them now. Yeah, you're all in like a little thing. Um, so what he's gonna do, he's got a special. Um, he's got a special action. So he's got three attack. So here's my three attacks. But he can split them up. He does like a spinning whirlwind of claws and feet and flaming buttocks and whipping his bare tail. <laughs> He's going to attack Swifty, Blaze, and Furry. Furry I'm is furry. furry is the pet dragon yeah. that Blaze has. Um, so he's going to do one attack on each of you. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Leave so. It. Uh, Swifty to Blaze one, Furry five. So you need to roll the dice. Two. Two. Oh, so he gets you. So you are now bruised. You are hit. Yeah, you've gone wrong. You're going to try and beat a what? Wait, I've got to put something on there. Red. One. Two. Two, one, two. We take the highest of it, don't we? So you get hurt as well. In this flurry of paws and teeth. You get slashed. No, if we get the same love, I thought, um, no, the, the attacker wins. wins. The attacker wins. And now, furry, five. He's what? Let's try and beat a five. Oh, he. Five, he's five. got five. I've got five. So he gets hurt as well. Oh! But all of you get hurt. What about Venom? So you need to put a dice on there. So he's on. Except for Venom. Two. Venom's. And he's on two. Mr. Yeah. What did I say? I was on two, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. So you're on two. Now then um, I go. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. okay. I'm going to throw twin backers, daggers into his bare bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is your special, special ability, twin daggers. Is it? Special Ranged attacks special with daggers. Oh yeah. I thought that was just my normal attack. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so it's raised attack. So okay. Damage. Yeah. Um, that's two. Two four. and four. Two and four. Oh, six. Oh. My man critically evades you in leaping out of the way. He's like an agile ninja just leaping around. He's roaring in pain there because his buttocks are really, really painful. Ah. Uh, you can do one other thing if you want. I'm gonna leap on his back. Okay. Woohoo! I'm so uh, excited. Let's both roll the dice and we'll see what happens. Alright, um, what do I roll? One. You just roll That's one, yeah. That's a piggyback. The genius here, I suppose this would be. Two. Three. Three. Oh, so you try and leap on his back, but you grab hold of him and he sort of yeah. shakes you off yeah. and flings you to the side. Yeah. Uh, Blaze, you okay? Uh -huh. uh. I have a healing potion. Hmm. Can you help heal my pet, please? Why? It's not your, it's not, it's gay, it's your gay. And, if I heal your pet, if we die, gonna die. But if I die, and you're still alive, you can still revive me, right? No. Why is it on there? Bruised. No, it's because it's got tea. Oh, yeah. right. It was on her... Yeah, but that's three, isn't it? So you've got three health, and then you've got two health. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh... Cut out little heart symbols or something like that. Yeah. Come on, Lee! I mean, Blaze. Come on, Blaze, come on. Uh, mm, I'll make a fire sword. A fire sword? For my hands. I don't think you have that. Um, 
You can do a flaming bolt. You can do power flame surge. burst. Power surge. Power surge. What's power surge? Oh, you need to be at full health. Uh, uh. So there's a vicious werewolf running around trying to beat you up. And you don't know what to do. Going to read my special book. Just do you have it? Oh yeah, book. The book of spells. Yes. Okay, so we're really grasping things to do now, aren't we? Hmm. Um. We might have to cut this bit out of the podcast. Yeah. This part's boring. Oh, I know. I'm going to kick him. Just kick him. Yeah. <laughs> you have to read a book for that. I needed to run over him and kick him. Kick him in the butt. Yeah. Okay. Kick him so hard that he's screaming. I just rolled the dice then. One. One. Three. Five. Okay, so Five. you run over and you try and kick him and he just leaps out of the way. Wait, wait, the attacker wins. What did you roll? A five. Well, so you rolled a three. Let's try that again then. There's a five though. It was a three. I mm -hmm. thought I rolled a five. Go on, roll again, Lee. Four. Two. 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 Oh, okay. Three. So you run over and kick him up the bum. <laughs> With your flaming foot. <laughs> and he is now hurt. Yes. Um, so the werewolf, seeing he's outnumbered, <laughs> um, he dashes back into the... Um, into the barn, the old stone barn, crashing through the door and just disappears. I run in. You run in? Yeah. I want to give that wolf spade to him so I can heal him, not kill him. Um, and use my lemonade one. Please. Uh, Mario? Yeah. Well, what do you want to do? So, you, oh, it's, um, what are you called? Swifty. Swifty. Has run in. Has it got a doorbell? Oh, no. Um, no, no electric in that house. There's like daylight pouring through a crack in the roof. I might burn it, so it just crumbles. Hey, but I'm, down. I'm in there. You're gonna kill me. No, I'm going to set the um, walls on fire. Yeah, but I'm still in there. You dumb dumb. Then get out. What? It's not my go. Feel free. Do whatever you want to do. He's called Blaze. He has got Blaze. Is, that's what he does, isn't it? Yeah, but he's got no brain as well. He should be called No Brain. <laughs> um. Then is he small? No, no he's massive. So this you're it pointing at the spider. Small. The giant spider is about ten foot tall, so he's probably twice as big as you. Is he? Furry, who is the dragon? Yes, he is a baby dragon. So he's probably comes up to your waist. Mm. Is there any pipes in there? Oh, good thinking. Oh. So you look up. There is um, there's a, an old chimney that looks like it's been like blown over by the wind. So there is a you could have fly up there and have a look down the chimney if you want. Mm. I'm gonna make him fly up there and go down the chimney. Okay. He's Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> so Furry, um, you tell him all that, you give him his instructions, and he flies up to the uh, up over the roof, finds the chimney, and flies down the chimney, and lands very close to um, Swifty. Hi, 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 him. Pow! He doesn't well, ring his butt. High five, claw. He's only got three fingers. Then a high. No, no, high 13. No, no, that's, no. High 6. A high... Alright, come on, let's roll some dice. You can just roll for your high 5. Roll the dice. <sighs> Swifty, here you go, Swifty. I, should I roll And Furry, yeah, go on then. Roll the dice. Yeah! Two. Oh, two. two! Yeah, you, you do a perfectly wow. inadequate high 5. A very American high 5. Right, so, what are we doing? High five. This is turning into the most boring scene ever. We are about 
outside. Hey, should we go and explore? How big is a barn? Uh, from the outside, it doesn't look very big, but it does seem to be built into the hill. But you're inside it now. What I'm going to go to another room. Okay, so you look around the barn. Yeah. And it's obviously, it's been home Fancy. to the barn like thing. It's been home to a pack of wolves for like the last five or six years. It's stinky, the floor is all trampled around, it's like little beds made up of like hay or straw or something. But you can see at the back, because obviously this was a big pack of wolves, they didn't just live in this barn. It seems to be the barn was built around like a hole or a slight cave or a mine that goes into the back of the hill. So the back of the barn even though it's stone, it seems to be like so stone. House. I don't like, know. Yeah, so it's kind of it's gone into the hill, and at the back there is definitely a corridor slash mine entrance. Here. Oh no, this is. Weird. Oh, and you don't see the werewolf. He's obviously disappeared somewhere. I'm gonna go down the mine. It might be down the mine though. Um. So we're assuming that Blaze, you're following him. Um. That's why I'll go in the door, burn it down, so if, so you don't I open stone, the door, right? okay. but stone inside the hill. Yeah, it's like a mine. Yeah, so if he burned the house down, I would be able to get out. Mm. So don't burn the house down, burn the door down. Or you could just open the door. Kick it down, kick it down. That's well, what the door's was. open? Yeah. Gonna shut it and kick it down. <laughs> okay, shut the door. Shouldn't he um like roll something so he doesn't stub his toe or get his? Yeah, go then roll an attack on the door. Which one? I'm gonna have safety first. How many? Uh, one. One. Five. Five. He yeah, does yeah. not stub his toe. He does not get a split. Yeah, yeah, he successfully kicked the door open. Yeah. Now kick the door down. Oh, he kicked it open. It's not off its hinges or anything. Ah. Uh, he should roll again to get a six. Don't well, no, you can do a single. That'll well, be for now. Oh. Um. Right, I have to remember this is YouTube. This isn't just normal mucking about. I know. To entertain the YouTube masses who are watching us. Yeah. So come on, Lewis. Where am I going? Please. So you both. All right. Let's let's assume you both went into the mine then. So you walk through uh. the big cavernous. Um, place there where they were all sleeping and you've gone at the back where it's all built up against the stone hill there's like this like mine opening of a mine shaft or a mine that goes into it and you walk in there and you light your little lights and have a look around so you've got little old-fashioned torches and you can see that it just sort of no, stretches across i could just make the light with my hands oh yeah because you've got flaming hands yeah so you see, it's mostly stone. There are some wood, you know, wood planks on the floor. There's there's a few spread around, and then in the middle there's like a, a few floorboardy bits, and then it goes on, and there's a few upright beams holding up the ceiling. But it's just a just a deep, dank hole in the earth, really. There's no sign of the werewolf. He's scuttled off somewhere. <coughs> hmm. I keep going that way. Okay. As you walk down the corridor, are you coming with me? Yeah. Uh, as you both walk down the corridor, and you walk over those planks on the floor, you remember I told you there's a section that had planks on the floor. Don't put that in your mouth. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this up. Uh, there's a creaking, and a bit of a groan, and there's a loud splintering snap, and you both find yourself falling through the floorboards, and then you hit a very slippery slope, and you start sliding down. Twin daggers in there, hold on. Roll something. Bye bye. Twin dagger, uh, so there's going to be a reaction to dagger, so agility, so roll one. Oh, I'm Five. Mm, not good enough. What? We're sliding down slower, but um, look, Blaze is shooting down. Blaze, you look round, and at the bottom, you just see wooden spikes poking up. You're sliding down extremely quickly. What would you like to do? Hold on to something. Is there any like planks sticking out of walls? Oh uh, no, it's very very slippery, all smooth, all round you, like a tube. First of all, I'd like to know who put wooden spikes at the end of this slope. 
So oh, I tried to, to make him um to trap the unaware to the people who didn't jump across it. They didn't inspect it properly. Um, I'd make him push me back up. Furry? Yeah. So you want him to fly down? So like shout at him, tell him some instructions. La, 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 la. La, la. Does he have his own language? Um, yeah. You have a lot of language to, languages to learn. How do you get it up? Hmm. Come on, just slide it down into a pot, into a load of spikes. Come on. He's pushing me up. No, well, you would tell him to do something, wouldn't you? Well, in English, so we like remember we're on YouTube now. Yeah, but it's his language. It's yeah, let's just assume it's in English. Alright. Okay. Because how will I be able to tell you what's happening? Oh yeah. If you was going blah 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 blah. Mm, sorry, could you push me up, please? Um, so you're gonna have to roll some sort of. How many? I don't know, just roll one, and let's see. I reckon you have to get five or six. Oh, one critically fails. Before he comes down. <laughs> So before he comes down, he doesn't really understand what he's going to do, and he ends up pushing you faster. So you're both speeding down towards these spikes at an incredible rate. But I'm, I'm, I'm slowing down. Like well, you are slowing down a little bit, yes, it's true. So, after a long screeching slide down this... <laughs> just staring at the screen. Hmm. So you slide all the way down this pit, and you hit the spikes, but luckily... Spikes are really old, totally rotten, and they just smash, they don't really hurt you, and so, but apart from, um, we called Swifty, he comes tumbling down with his twin daggers out, bomb, straight onto Blaze's head, ah! gives you one damage, so you're down to, you're almost knocked out now, Lee. What? Oh, Okay, okay. Uh... Um, so around you, you see, there's still quite a few spikes which are pointing up. The ones you landed on were totally rotten and old, just ancient. But you do see around you some old, like people who'd obviously fallen down the trap before and have been sp spiked and have died. I, there's just skeletons. And they got skeletons, streets. but they got like old bags and you know old clothes and stuff down there. Loot. Loot. Please. <laughs> yeah, no, I swear to you, cool. First, I'm gonna burn this hair off. Please. His. You can't, cause. Because I always have my hood up. Always. And remember that we're supposed to be adventurers and like Han Solo and like Chewbacca. We're yeah. like the good guys, we're not attacking each other. But I want my Darth Vader and Luke. That was just an accent, wasn't it? Mm. But he, he, he made me onto my help. Yeah. But it wasn't, he didn't attack you, did he? Can I have a health potion, please? I was kind of saving it for an emergency. So if you die, I'm obviously going to do CPR. Because I learned medical training at school. <laughs> um, what should I do? I'm going to burn all of the, uh, the spikes down so that we get hurt. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. But then you'll set a whole fire. Yeah, you are standing in the middle of the spikes. Well, I'm you shall walk out of the spikes. Loot. Okay. Loot. I'm doing the bag. I love like clothes. Right, Lou, you've gone off the camera again, remember? Um, how the camera works? I'll go in pockets. Oh, oh, because I'm a pickpocket. I'm going no, back. No, 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 no. So, you, you start, both of you start, like, looking through the old bags and boots and the old trousers and looking through the pockets and everything, finding all sorts of different loot. But, unfortunately for you guys, the skeletons spring to life. There's no. two of them. One is a skeleton warrior, and the other one what? is a shambling skeleton. They leap up and they start attacking you. Alright, oh, here we go. Shambling skeleton. Can I and see And the skeleton warrior. No, because you're, you're cheating then. No, I'm just having a look. So, oh, right. he, he's missing a hand, so you know. Cliffhanger! And what will happen next time? No! 33 minutes we've been playing this. That's half an hour. Half an hour. So. Say bye.